G'day and welcome back to Powertech TV. Today, I'm wearing my diesel hat, quite literally, as you can see. Stop laughing, guys. Here we have the staple of tradies over the years. Darn good thing, solid car, Hilux 3 litre D4D turbo diesel engine. Been superseded since, but these old girls, they've been around for years and they'll live on for years tuned properly they can be really good things they can make great gains in power and torque and they have excellent long-term potential providing you tune them right so we have lots of lots of experience in uh, making these things go better and last so we'll step you through how it's done first thing we do is we run the car standard then we apply our tuning knowledge to it we custom tune these we don't just flash any old tune into them on the side of the road or in a car park Big no-no. We like to do it right, measure it on the dyno, make sure everything's safe, everything's under control so you get a durable result. Well, let's see how she goes. So the boys tuned her, custom tuned her properly, and we got some great results. Standard, we started with the dyno tearing 96 kilowatts at the back wheels and 507 newton meters at the back wheels. People are going, hang on, these things don't make 507 newton meters. Well, that is the torque that we're actually hitting the rollers with when we're driving the car on the road or when we're tuning it on the dyno. That is a real torque. Hey, Gaz, what gear did you dyno it in? That's in third gear. Thanks, Gaz. So, we started out with that power number and that torque number. Power seems to peak at about 3,300 RPM. Well, we gained over 20% in power there. We took it up to 115. And the power runs all the way across the rev range, out to 4,200, nice and strong. Torque, that's a no-brainer. We always say, oh, you'll get about 100, 100 Newton meters gain with a good turbo diesel tune. This one's no different. We made about 121, 122 Newton meters, right where you want it. Sweet spot, again, being 3,000 RPM with this Hilux, we'll be doing a lot of it slugging. Air fuel ratio, nice and safe still. We're about one point richer, which keeps the EGTs down and under control still. And right at the top end, we come back to standard AFR of 20 to one. She ain't making heat. She isn't gonna melt and crack pistons this one. Boost, standard peaks at 14 PSI. We get it up to about 16 and a half. Again, it's safe. What that tells us is real world gains are there to be had that are durable, providing you custom tune, you check, you tune, you tune, you check. This car now is ready for a process west front mount intercooler and a separator catch can to make it the perfect piece.